Last year, I went on a boys trip to Columbia and did typical bro stuff. Went to the clubs and we hit up girls. The issue with that is I had been seeing a girl in Mexico who I had met a month earlier. For me, we weren't dating. This is the 2020s after all. But we had great chemistry and I was sure eventually we would be. But for now, I was single and free to do what I wanted. That was a year and a half ago and we're officially dating now. There's been times where she mentioned we were together when I was in Colombia and I just brushed it off because for me we weren't and my policy was just I'll not mention it because bringing it up doesn't really benefit anyone. It's all in the past and no one was hurt. But I've recently been feeling this call to complete honesty in my conversations. Throughout tough conversations, you can feel that there's this thread hanging in the air. There's something that's supposed to be said. You can feel it, you know? That moment in a conversation is the fulcrum, the path the conversation is destined to go. You should choose that path and see where it goes, but sometimes, a lot of the time, you pull back. You fear that if you say what should be said, it will cause chaos. It's just better left unsaid, as it's not really hurting anyone and will just cause drama. But whether you say it or not, it is steering the undercurrent of the conversation. It's there in the topics you discuss, or the topics you choose to avoid. The issue came up again during an argument and I could feel it. I knew this was the moment philosophy had prepared me for. So I said what I didn't want to. The thing I knew would take the conversation from a pleasant discussion into mayhem. As Marcus Aurelius says, remind yourself that your task is to be a good human being and do it without hesitation and speak the truth as you see it, but with kindness, with humility, without hypocrisy. You know I didn't consider us dating when I went to Columbia, right? Then this led down the path of, well, what did you do when you were there then? And I told the truth there too. The conversation ended with her packing her things up. The follow doesn't matter. That's something that hurts, yes, but it falls outside of my sphere of control. What is important is that I did the virtuous thing that was in my power. I told the truth. Right now, I have decades of experience with making concessions on the truth in order to spare people's feelings. But the lesson I've been getting recently is to tell the truth, as that's within your control. And the result of that truth is outside of our control. I am trusting that once this mayhem blows over and there's nothing left unsaid, I'll automatically be able to see and say those things hanging in the ether, that it'll benefit everyone in my life and I can rebuild. But in the meantime, we push forward with virtue, correcting the mistakes that we've made in the past. I do what is mine to do. The rest doesn't disturb me. Marcus Aurelius.